Hey, hey, what's up everybody? Uh, Andrew here from the Orange Constant. Going to use the same guitar that Nicholas used. This is the Mexican Strat that he was using. Uh, it's got the push-pull coil tapping. Uh, I'm gonna use the single coil version just like he did. Uh, these are Grosch pickups. Uh, yeah, here we go. First off, I've got the, uh, the twin reverb. This is my practice amp. It is a big guy, 212s, although I did have our good buddy Steve Hunter take out the right side speaker uh, over here. And then we left uh, one of the warehouse prototype speakers, which remains unnamed. Got it in channel two, just to keep the gain down a little bit. Uh, cranked up the mids kind of gives it some nice low end that's not too bassy got a little bit of bass uh five on the treble reverb set at three and this is modified for that one speaker to have i think about half the wattage just because these things crank so much uh, but it's great for practicing great for a stationary amp to get a ton of clean headroom and uh see how it sounds I wish I could tour with it, but it's too big. Uh, but yeah, it just it sounds great. I love the twin. It's got the best cleans, you know, that I've I've really played, in my opinion. Uh, and this one was the I think an 05, which is an, a limited blonde Tolex wrap because I I love things that look tan and blonde. Don't tell my wife. <laughs> All right, up next is the latest edition, which is also a Blues Deluxe. Um, this one is the, some kind of like a burnt orange uh, covering. It's a little bit darker than some of the other tan ones. But anyway, I've got this in the second channel. Uh, not only does it seem to lower the bass, uh, but also the gain really, Super bassy amp, to be honest. You can see I've got the the uh, the EQ with the bass all the way down, treble up pretty high, presence is relatively high. Uh, definitely like the chime. I've got it on the normal setting, not bright. This is definitely my favorite 112 amp, you know, combo. Uh, I've tried the Mesa Nomad for a little while, which was Pretty cool amp, but it's extremely heavy. So I didn't really want to keep touring with that. This thing just seems to be the perfect size for most venues that we play in. It's got a ton of clean headroom. It also breaks up nicely and uh, sounds great at low volumes too. So here we go. It's definitely my go-to right now. I think I can emulate enough of the twin reverb sound in a smaller package, so it's not uh, not compromising too much for me. And we'll move on. Finally, we've got the OG Super Champ XD combo. This is. Uh, a 10, 10 inch speaker in it. We've got the Warehouse 12 or 10CS, so the smooth cone 
Uh, orange speaker, same as Nicholas's, just in a 10 inch version. Also forgot to mention that in the deluxe, we are, we've got the warehouse, same thing in the 12. So Nicholas and I have three of those speakers. Clearly we like them. The Super Champ is awesome. It is compact, but sounds amazing. It is tube driven. Some people are confused because it is small, but it's 15 watts. I keep the volume on about three or four so it doesn't break up too much. I keep a little bit of the stock reverb on and pretty even with the bass and treble. It's got a bunch of voices on it if you wanted to mess around with that, but I, I really don't do that. I just use pedals to, to get my overdrive. But this amp sounds really cool. Uh, it's got six V6s, so it's similar to like the deluxe reverb. Uh, in the power section, I guess, uh, kind of has just this airier sound than the 6L6 has something a little bit meatier. So this one's a really great amp for, for small stages, for practicing, and uh, just as a backup. So here we go. a bit had this thing since i was probably 17 maybe 18 years old and there's a reason i never let it go i actually tried the super champ x2 head with a uh, separate cabinet because i wanted to get a little bit uh bigger sound out of it but i think that the the x2 sound is not quite as good as the xd i don't know what they changed but if you can find one of the Super Champ XDs in a combo, I would definitely pick it up. And I think that's it. I don't think I've played any other amps other than that Mesa Nomad. And uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoy. We'll see you on the road.